today we want to upload um, some images that you already have in your server to the, the Docker Hub. So it's super easy. We will start actually creating, in my case, I create an organization. So actually in your Docker Hub account, you can create your organization or directly to upload your, your image in, in your section. So actually my organization name is PL Project 20 and I already have some images here. So actually what I want to do is to, to upload another image that I have in my server. So how to do it is super easy. We will start uh, creating your organization. How to do it is just here. You can enter to organizations and you will see what you have and create an organization. Immediately you can ask to you if you want to pay or not. For me, it's just free. So you write a name. Let's create like test test 20. The company name will be your company. And uh, of course, if this number and name already exists, you must change it until you find something that is free. And um, so as soon as you have the organization, you can go to repositories and uh, start doing it. So to just here, we make sure that we have the name or organization. So actually over this organization, I will upload. So to save a, a lot of time, I will create an upload here in an extra name, uh, PL Project 20, because uh, usually the, the image will take a little long time. So how to do it? So we will go to our server. As soon as you enter, it's important to have these commands. We will start um, to make sure that you want to upload in your login. I mean, you must log in with your user in Docker Hub. So the first thing that you must do it is create a sudo docker login. Uh, that's you, your user. So then password. And you are already in. So here you can do a uh, sudo docker images. As soon as um, here are all the images of my dockers that I have in my server. So actually in this project that we call PL20, actually I need to upload an image that will be exactly this one. OML30 because it has machine learning and is a um, controller group. So uh, the, the number, so how to do it? Simple, these two comments. Here we have uh, the name. This is the name that we have in our server. So in my case, it's um, you can see here it's OML Ryu 101. So to change, actually now I already, because I already loaded with this name, Project 20. So I will change the name. So this in my um, Docker Hub will be CTR the CTR name with this version. So I just need to do this command in my, if you have here the error saying that you don't have permissions or that the permission is denied, actually it's because you didn't um, enter the login command, sudo docker login you and your user. So after that, you will see again in Docker images that we already have uh, PL project CTR. Do you see here now we have, this is my version. So, and this is the image ID and you have all the information. Um, here actually what I changed the name because it's, it's easier to the people to have this name. And we have here that actually here we don't have any, any CTR image. So let's do it. So the command that actually will push the docker image from your server to the docker have actually is this command sudo docker push p 
PL project or actually here you can write this section you can write your the name or your project in my case PL project or the example that we wrote test whatever you want I mean your organization your project or how to or your personal name so you can write here to have a specific name and must be exactly the same name that you have in the docker tag common so then we have ctr that we already described and this is the command to push you will see this image it has around a uh, one point yeah it's 1.28 gigas so actually it will take a little take time so actually let's leave it there so as soon as you have here that actually what i, I want to show you you can see that it already is starting actually so here you will see as soon as the image is done is um you will have already the information the image here to be in uh, to be free for everybody to download it so um, how to to if you wanna do you see actually here you have a specific the the command that we were using the docker push and now as soon as you have already in docker hub how to put it again for example another person will not download this image in their own server so it's super easy to instead of the command push you need to use the command sudo docker pull and the same name if you are if you work before with uh, dockers actually you will know that this command is super you we are using every time but it's quite complicated to push and actually to move the images from a server to another it's quite heavy so actually this option that you will have with docker have is quite important because actually you can share your images with more people so we are actually working in a PL project that is actually an SDN SDN network with real controller and and it's a image that is like helping you to have already uh, SDN topology so you actually you don't need to to create so a uh, switch by switch actually we have three images one will be the controller the other the switch and the third one will be the user so it's actually free for everybody and to be used so actually we are writing now the the information so in the future you can actually reuse this information that we have been working in our university so um, this is um still waiting here but it will be ah that's awesome here we have so here we as we i uh, here I already show you that we have CTR image and let's see if we it's already here or not. But otherwise just doing with these two commands you will get the information. Hmm, ah okay now we show and uh, so actually it's here you can see that before we actually did it on F5 but it wasn't there and um, so here we already have the image did you see it's super good that we already have the project ctr so actually if if you wanna download that image so just let's do it as sudo docker pool and here of course the same name that we already have so you can go here and they will tell me that i already had so actually one With this command, you will have, but actually, you know that my, my image is already in my server, but actually shouldn't have this error if you haven't used the image, uh, if you don't have the image in your, in your server. So actually, that it is how, if the way, I mean, if you work already with a Docker, for sure you download the image like Ubuntu or Hello World using the same command. So actually it's the same, you just must do it as sudo docker pull and it's already done so thank you to to watch this video i'm so happy if you in the future actually you need an sdn network to, to make your to have some exercises ab, uh, about like how it actually works and you can use and i hope in some days i will upload the information uh, to um, with more details so actually everybody can use this image thank you for watching
Bye. Eso es todo. Me voy. Los amo mucho.